What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jake Shavank here, and today we are going to look at one of my favorite pass rushers in the 2023 NFL Draft, Iowa State's Will McDonald, who had a phenomenal 2021, 45 pressures, 13 sacks. The numbers dipped a little bit in 2022, right? 25 pressures and just six sacks, but a lot of more assignment uh, playing inside of the 4-I in the 3-3-5 defense. Didn't get to tee off as much in terms of going after quarterbacks. But you did see, for sure, an uptick in his ability in run defense, and, and we're going to tackle that a little bit in the film room. Has 49 run stops in the last two seasons. That's all over the place. Let's take a look at why he is, I think, one of the top edge rushers and might just go in the first round of the 2023 NFL Draft. Off to the film room. All right, guys, here we go into the film room looking at Will McDonald. A lot to unpack, for sure. And I think when you look at him at, at his size at 238 pounds, you kind of see like, all right, well, this is just a pass rusher, right? Can he handle the run game? And the film tells you he can, and I think we're going to see that a lot. Now, Will McDonald had a lot of tip passes in his career. So when he you know, has this type of explosion and tests well, you see why. Because it's just unbelievable him getting up and tipping this pass. Like, look at the elevation we're generating here. Boom. And getting up in the air. Like, come on. That explosion, it shows up as well all over the place. And that, that's why the testing was good. Here, again, we're working as, as an interior type of, of player here. You know, we're not completely outside the tackle right and our job is run fitting in here watch us just toss the toss the guard aside you know he's he's definitely got some pretty good power um baked into you know and, and uses his length really well and, and leverage is really well to to generate that power now love the athleticism here love the run defense range that he has you know obviously lined up in zero there but he's able to get out and limit yardage once again same type of thing here we're crashing but noticing okay we're running reverse linemen are trying to get out there but no i'm gonna help out and again that the hustle the motor and, and that ability and run defense to kind of continue to press on and chase and, and to be able to close with some speed love that from him there okay he's got a good pass rush arsenal and it starts with again club rip dip and close again doesn't quite get there but he can get to that move pretty often to kind of trim his angle where he doesn't have to get all the way around the arc he can kind of get to the top and then kind of flatten when he gets to finish once again look at the look at how look at how good we are leveraged here in the chest lower than our guy able to sit and anchor pretty well and then get off the block and it's hard to see but he grabs the jersey of deuce vaughn there and brings him down for a run stop that is one of my favorite plays for him just to be able to sit and leverage in that gap and, and then be able to flip outside and make a play on Deuce Vaughn, who's, again, one of the more elusive backs in the country. Again, here we go. See him, again, chopping there, dip underneath, rip through the ball, and then this time he gets home for a sack. Obviously very hyped about that. There are definitely times, though, again, where he's a, when you're not in position here and you're trying to drive right and you're not sitting and leveraging if, if you're not in a good spot like this tackle has a lot of leverage where he can use do some torque rotational force and, and down he goes like he has definitely lost reps at the point of attack that's that's again he's 238 pounds right this isn't like you know this isn't a a, a, a top flight you know run defending defensive end right this isn't a 4-3 end necessarily like he is Going to be a little inconsistent against bigger, stronger tackles who have better, you know, leverage points. But again, you see it here, like get into this gap, right? The idea is I'm getting into this gap and my guy is going to get around me here. Um, I forget the word now. It's not coming to me. Um, scrape around uh, to make this play. Gets in the gap and his, his buddy was there, but Bijan Robbins is just too, too much of a wizard, right? But again, this is really strong to get to this point here. Have your guy be able to scrape around and make a play. It was just, again, Bijan gets you quite often. So that, that stuff happens. A little double team here for him on the interior. So gets kind of washed out of the play, but he understands it's about to be a scramble drill. Look at the motor. Look at him close and look at him limit anything really for Ewers to take off. Really like that. Once again, look at good vision. He's got eyes on Robinson. And we're going to get this, this guard out of the way here, get him on the ground. He doesn't end up making the play, but it frees up some guys to do just that. All right, now you now we're going to unlock a little bit of athleticism here, right? 
He's been threatening. He can. They, people know he's going to threaten the edge and tr- try to, you know, get some good hand usage in there to trim his his angle. So tackles got to respect him getting outside, hand swipe, and a really nice inside move. A lot of guys will try to win the inside move with just pure athleticism. You need to have hand swipes in the arsenal in order to make it happen. Here we go. I call this this trio of plays the spin cycle. Whoopsie, <laughs> outside spin. And I think what's important, uh, as, as I giggle every time I see this, but again, how efficient that turn is, how quick he is through that spin, and then he's clearing with his with his left arm, right? He's clearing with his left arm. I'll show it one more time, right? That ability to whoop, and my arm is clearing you out so you have no chance to regain leverage. We're back over it here again. Watch this arm, clear the tackle from being able to make a play, and you, you and your guys create some pressure. Does it on this side too, not, not just against Wanya Morris, against potential first round pick Anton Harrison. Whoopsie. Look at look at the clear here. That's important. Clear him out. Now, if he doesn't try to trip and he doesn't get a little help from his buddy here to kind of get sandwiched, it's going to be a sack potentially for 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 um, Will McDonald there. And that's really impressive. Now, when you have this type of burst, this acceleration, and again, use your length to kind of widen the, the the gap you can attack here and he nearly gets home almost wraps up Tyler Shaw uh in the backfield here we go okay his left arm is leveraged in he's using his right arm to chop now we're gonna rip through contact there he is he's clearing him out and then reach with those long arms to jar the ball loose a really nice sack for him once again whoops spin move and this time, the guard can't help him. He got through. Luckily, it was a rollout play uh, for Texas Tech. Again, he's not going to win everything, right? And and I think what, what really stands out is I think some some guys have, have keyed on whether he's going to try and get to that rip move on the outside or he's going to try and work the spin move. He gets sometimes erased. Here, it's just, again, just didn't quite get it done there. Ripping, again, loses if you lose any bit of balance against tackles they're gonna they're gonna take advantage it was a tough one for him to handle once again he's against a guard here don't love the matchup that's not something we're gonna get in the league very often right and he kind of gets sent across the screen now if you're gonna give him some space to work with and you think you're gonna be able to engage i don't know if you can see it it's very it's very quick boom he chops chops that arm and if it's not a quick pass it's not the quick game he is drilling Max Duggan there. One of my favorites. Again, look at how tight we are in here to leverage. And again, good flexion. Staying low. And Kendra Miller gets disrupted on this run because Will McDonald has pushed his guy into the backfield. And he is creating run stops, tackles for losses, right? That is something that McDonald does at a high level. And here we go. Got to add the swipe arm over with the inside move. Don't just win athletically inside, right? This is almost like, okay, stutter step into a two-way go. Which way am I going, right, if I'm playing receiver? Hand swipe, arm over, clear him out, sack. Easy for Will McDonald there. Once again, nice job. This this is a little forklift into a, into a kind of a dip-rip move here. Get See? That's, that's a forklift type of thing where you're trying to lift... The tackle's arms up, dip underneath, clear him out. And again, he doesn't get home, but what does he do? Boop, tip pass. Boom. Really strong there. This is the type of stuff now where you go, okay, he's got creative moves, right? He's got some answers at contact point. He can win inside, right? He's got the spin. How about just an old-fashioned like, all right, well, you're out of position. I'm lower than you. How about a little speed to power? And nearly, he nearly gets his hand up. To tip the pass. The speed to power stuff for a guy at 238. Now we're really cooking. Again, this is good where against Baylor, you're going to see him. Read step to the outside. Okay. We're running zone here. Everybody's trying to get. I'm going to knife through this gap. He's trying to take a, take out the second level guy. I'm beating my assignment. And I'm wrapping him up in the backfield for a run stop. Again, you're not going to be able to see this as, as, as long. But look at him. Get into the chest. In tight with his arms, and we're driving him back. If he doesn't get help here, and again, it's a quick swing pass, 
might be driving him into the quarterback. Really like this one too. And and it's something where, you know, take on multiple blockers. He takes on one, right? He's getting off one guy. Okay. Well, he's got to take a second on, make that guy miss. And just the ability to play the run at that size. I really, really am impressed. Okay. Engage here. Little push pull. Rip through. Probably getting held there a little bit. And, and generate some pressure. Get that quarterback on the move. So Will McDonald's got a lot in the arsenal, right? You see it, right? Inside move. Right? The chop rip he loves to get too. You know, he, he can win with the spin very clearly. But when he can start converting speed to power like that on the edge, with as good a leverage he plays with the ankle flexion, the ability to generate power from that explosive first step and second step, that's where we start getting into some really, really rarefied air, especially at 238 pounds, right? So there are some guys that can do that. And with his length, and if he can play with that power and that leverage, he can sit and play the run game like that extremely well. And we're maybe talking about a guy who's maybe a little bit more unique in his, his ability to play on all three downs, especially at his size. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, this film room on Will McDonald. If you did, drop a like down there. Subscribe if you're new. NFL Draft Week is coming. There's a lot of content that's going to come with that. So hope you guys stick around for it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Farewell.